been traveling thousands of miles now. I've made a billion casts. I believe I chose the right flies when looking back in the past. But why? Oh why? I miss all the takes. And why goodbye? In all the lakes. I cast, I try, but I don't know why. They hate my fly. They hate my fly. Yeah, I can We're take hitting the tree. Yo, we'll hit the tree. I can take the net. You have the net? Yes, I have it here. Man, my heart is shaking. I'm so afraid of losing this one. Do you have the net, Petsy? I can take it now, if you have. Yep. Right, this is a proper dream fish. But it's not in the net yet. Oh no, head shakes. Please. <laughs> oh. I want to thank some people because I would, of course, not have. It wouldn't have been possible without my mother, and my father, my sister, and my brother, my friends, and I had a cat when I was a small guy uh, until I was 19, and that cat meant a lot to me. So uh, without that cat and the rest of the bunch of people I mentioned. It would not have been possible. Thank you very much, Kat, and a bunch of people. Are you ready to swim? Yes, it was quite ready to swim. <laughs> a fishing trip is a journey not just in the physical sense, but it's also very much a mental journey. When you catch, you get relaxed and happy. <laughs> and when you get relaxed and happy, you catch more. Look at this. <laughs> and success makes you open and willing to experiment. It's <laughs> cock flavored seasoning. <laughs> it smells uh, a bit cocky. But does it taste like that? I don't know. How could I know? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's quite good. Not too bad, actually. Is it cock flavored? Yeah. But a good cock. To the left, yeah. three meters. Rise. So there's fish for sure. But another rice. Now I can't see it. Can you see it? Yeah, it's going to the left, going towards your fly. Towards your fly still, keep the fly where it is. Uh... Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh yes. <laughs> that was unexpected. Didn't see that one coming. 
Congrats. Thank you, Zaya. I truly mean it. <laughs> Still smiling. You see, he's, he's smiling. That's the cursed smile. <laughs> it's like... Yes, it's a very good fish. It's a cursed smile. Well, some guys get lucky, some guys don't. And when you don't catch, first, you stop believing in what you're doing. Next, you start to question your technique, your equipment, your fly. You start trying, and then, you lose your mojo. When we got back to the cabin, uh, he was almost like catatonic. I mean, everyone else was tired too, but, but he, he wasn't just tired. He was, it was like he lost his way, you know, he, he was like, he didn't believe in anything. I fly for char fishing. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, we break the curse. <laughs> Show me the we money. Fucking break the curse. Thank you, buddy. Made my day. Hey, man. Hi. Yeah, I was uh, looking at the clips from, uh, you know, my Iceland trip. Yeah. And I'm just looking at a pretty nice Arctic char I got. Way to go! It's, uh, it's like a big Arctic char. Yeah, it's, I don't know, 1.4, 1.5. Wow, you finally broke the curse, man. Yeah, I met this uh, guy, I sort of found him on the internet and uh, went what's fishing. The, with what him did, and what's his name again? Uh, Maybe Bir I know him. Birgir, I don't know if you know him. Birgir? Yeah, sure. Isn't that like the, he's, he runs some kind of guiding service, doesn't he? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you hired him? Uh, Is that what you did? You gave him money? You gave him money. So what did he do? Did he like point the fish and, and tie on the flies as well? No, no, no. When you hire a guy to take you fishing, it doesn't yeah. count. Everybody knows that, seriously. Uh, <laughs> That's just the way it is. 